Hi, welcome to Actual Spinster. My name is Anna Marie and yeah, today I'm gonna do a tag video. Um, I was tagged in this, I think when it was first like released, which was maybe like three years ago. I don't know, that might be completely wrong, but I think it was quite a long time ago. And yeah, I was tagged by for story time. Yeah, I don't know, I just thought I would do it. It seems like a fun tag, very belatedly, as with a lot of the things I do. Also, sorry about this, I'm trying to keep my friend out of my face and I wanted to see if like curling it like this will help so that's why it looks like this. It's called All the Feels and it was created by Hardcover Hearts I think so I'll leave a link to the original in the description box. Question number one is what is your instinctive physical expression of delight at a book? I think I'm quite like a like physically responsive person so you know I'm often quite like I guess involved with how I read like in terms of maybe underlining things so that would also be part of some kind of expression of delight or writing a exclamation point next to really like incredible things or intense things or whatever. I also, you know, I do a lot of like placing the book. I definitely done that like on <laughs> this channel before. I might like immediately start rereading it or I might stop reading and just like step into space or say out loud like, oh, this book is so good <laughs> or like, this is so good. <laughs> I do already have like a skewed relationship with books versus people I think where I feel like books are more like people to me sometimes and so yeah I guess I just kind of respond to them in that way in like delight. I also I, I guess I like physically carry books around especially ones that I'm like enjoying or want to read a lot so you know I mean like around the house. I might also literally bury my face in the book and be like oh my god this book is so good. <laughs> So yeah. Question number two is, has there ever been a specific meal or food passage in a book that was memorable to you? I'm sure that there are more than this, but the one that really sprang to my mind is Villette. And it's when um, Lucy has been locked in the attic and she's got really hungry. She was locked in the attic by Monsieur Paul, who, Monsieur Paul, who wanted her to like learn this part for a play. And he finally like lets her out and he brings her like sweet cakes and she just like loves them a lot and eats them very quickly. And they're just like really delicious. And that has such a strong, um, it feels like it happened to me. It's so strong a memory, I guess, where I'm just like, yes, I can imagine how sweet the sweet cakes taste. So yeah, I'm not actually gonna answer question three because I really can't, I do have memory problems, um, <laughs> so I just can't really remember it, but the question is what was the first or most intense memory of seeing a scene slash passage clearly? And I think it's a great question. Yeah, I couldn't really figure out the first or whatever. Question number four is when was the last time you slammed a book shut or threw a book out of rage, disgust or frustration? I think my examples for this, I know not actually physically, but I have like spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, um, <laughs> Done this. I think the most recent book I kind of done this to is Ruth by Elizabeth Gaskell where I was listening to the audio so I just like paused it and closed my laptop screen and was like oh it's just a very frustrating novel it just has this like sense of like prurient morality that is like like it's almost like trying to fight against that but it literally like does all of the the sort of like sublime misogyny to get out of it so it's just misogyny on misogyny in order to solve misogyny <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. The other book that I very, very strongly feel that I shut the book out of disgust, but again, I didn't physically do that, was <laughs> when I was listening to War and Peace and I realized there was a five hour epilogue and I was like on a train somewhere. So that's probably one of the reasons why I kept listening because like, what else was I gonna do? It was a very long train journey. Like it was maybe a five hour train journey. <laughs> like, and uh, yeah, I found out probably like, you know, stopped it, it was like, I definitely tweeted about it being like, are you kidding me? Um, so yeah, that's that. Question number five is, have you ever been startled by a passage in a book that wasn't a thriller, suspense or horror book? And I do think I do this fairly regularly, but again, I found it kind of hard to remember when I had done this, but I know I've like had moments where I've really gasped out loud. But one that I read quite a long time ago now, I guess like two years maybe, was a book called Sanatory. I can't remember who it was by, but I will put it like a picture of it. And it is Emmy, sickness, pain, and going to a sanatorium and like having these like fluid bath treatments and stuff. But it is also about like the nature of these things like fatigue and pain and things. Yeah, I, I definitely felt like I went like, oh, as I was reading it. And, and it sort of really fits with the book because the book is about this, this relationship between ecstatic pain and pleasure and, and the two combined. And it uses like the image of uh, Saint uh, Teresa, is that why she's called? You know, Saint Teresa, of, well, the 
very famous like statue the ecstasy of saint Teresa. that's what it's called i think it uses that in a way and there are like these little drawings in the book too so yeah that i think is probably the book that i really distinctly remember doing that but again i do think i do it quite a lot because i am quite like a responsive reader out loud as well as in my head question number six is what was the last time you laughed with or at a book and yeah i've definitely done that very recently i think the book that i finished most recently is dead collections by isaac Fellman, which i just thought was really funny at points definitely now couldn't tell you <laughs> where they were i also am currently reading two books that i definitely laughed laughed at one is george eliot's middle march and the reason that i would laugh at this is generally because of the way that the narrative is telling the story like she's quite like a wry and sarcastic and funny narrator so definitely have laughed at that and it also laughed in a more kind of like ouch sense at this book all my puny sorrows by miriam toves which i most recently started reading because it's very very sad it's very relatable and it's also really quite funny question number seven is a great question and that's what book made you feel expansive there's no way that i could answer in any other way than to say to the lighthouse by virginia wolf which is a book that made me feel oceanic and also manages to contain the ocean and is just an incredible feat of writing what like i i i really need to reread it but it what an incredible book it just has this way of containing multitudes of containing water and grief so many things and all through words which really i do genuinely find pretty astounding there are two bonus questions one of the bonus questions is what was a specific sense memory that a book a book evoked in you and i'm not actually sure if this really counts as like what the question is asking <laughs> but i did think about because like, i don't i don't think this is a, like a sense memory but i did want to say that one time so i am about to like talk about the ending of jacob's room so if you don't want to listen to that then skip ahead a bit but basically at the end of Jacob's room there's this very moving and sad passage about the fact that Jacob died and that he has this whole room and it's empty but of course it has the detritus of Jacob his mother and like his you know boyfriend are in the room and she just says like what am I supposed to do with his shoes something like that and I just found that like such a moving ending I cried a lot at it and yeah and then in the real world <laughs> somebody sent me a picture of some shoes <laughs> and i just like my instinctual response was oh no just like in jacob's room and i just started crying but like the shoes were just random pretty shoes like it wasn't you know so yeah i just thought that was very funny <laughs> and then the other bonus thing is to read us a passage that made you feel and tell us what you felt and i do think i want to do that today so i'm gonna leave that i hope you enjoyed this tag and yeah if you're interested in doing it then consider that i'm tagging you it's a fun book tag and i'll also leave i wanted to actually mention about it i don't think i will because my camera is now dying but there's this like um review that somebody wrote of a book by rita falski about sort of post criticism and like effective responses to books basically and other things and yeah i think it's quite interesting in in response to you know reading through like a feeling lens which of course is all the lens we use but with a with a more directed like emotionally encouraging lens so yeah i'll leave that in case that's something you'd be interested in reading but yeah i think that's everything i wanted to say in this video i will talk to you when i next talk to you and i'm so sorry for taking literally forever to do this tag but anyway bye